Wow. That's awesome. I'm so happy you're on it. Did you do you have a lot of are you in it a lot? Uh you can't say. Uh, you can't say. I love it. It's you got you had to sign an NDA. I, yeah, and I had to just, you know, the whole thing. I just decided that I wanted to do this. Everything I did, Drea, there was always a glitch. When I did Spider-Man 2, I busted what's his name is balls. I mean, he loved me to death. But like I would smoke pot in the green room. Was it the, Sam Raimi? So, Who was it? Sam Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. So I would come in the morning and Sam would tell me I was too big for the train. He's like, <laughs> Joey, you're too big to be on the train. Go to your room. <laughs> so I would go to my room and I would smoke pot. And then I would go to Sam and say, Sam, I gotta talk to you. And he'd go, What? I go, somebody's smoking pot in my trailer. You better knock it off because you know I'm a Christian. I would break his balls every day. You know, on the longest yard, I acted like an animal. You know, I was acting like an animal. So everything I did, I never really respected it like an actor. Just the many saints in Newark was the first time I went in there. And I said, if I do this, I'm doing this 150%. I'm going to be a gentleman. I'm going to act right. I'm not going to complain about the hours. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to fucking do it. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah. Well, working with David Chase will inspire that because he is, he's the godfather, man. It's like I said, if I don't work again, I could give a Frenchman's fuck. Yeah. I felt because that I way. Got to, yeah. You know, I got to work with him. I got to work with Raimi who cracked me up. I just bumped into him about a year ago. At a pitch, and we hugged each other. And he told me, he goes, I heard you talking about me on all those podcasts. <laughs> so, you know, it was great working with Adam. It was great working. You know, I had a great, listen, I, I'm an ex con that got you in are? trouble. And yeah, then I got into comedy. So for I me, love these stories. this is like a cherry on the Sunday, you know? So what, what happened with the last podcast? You dissolved that one, right? It was eight years, and I felt that we had done our run with it, and it was time to move on. You know, you want to walk out of a room like The Sopranos. I didn't want to walk out of a room 15 years out with no ratings. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I had done a podcast two years before that, and now I had done a podcast for eight years. Uh, my co-host was great. I loved him to death. But it was just time to do something different, you know. Oh, so you it had a co-host. To... You weren't alone. Yes. No, no, no. He, was, he started with me also. But the problem was that I couldn't move him here for two days a week. Right, right, right. You know, I was taking too much of his life for two days a week. He's 32 years old. He doesn't have a family, you know, and he was basically in L.A. to work with me. I you know, he was doing he was doing a little stand up and stuff, but that was it. He's got a family. I didn't want to leave him in L.A. by himself, but it, it didn't justify bringing him down here and moving him all the way down here for two days a week. So how do you I like do doing that. it by yourself? It's been uh, great. Mike is great. I love doing it, you know, it's just getting the chops and being emotionally prepared. And I got to tell you <laughs> something, lately I don't feel emotionally prepared. You know, I'm happy, everything's great, but I think it's my, my I think my mind is in mourning because I lost stand-up. And especially after we lost, you know, I was at the comedy store three nights a week sold out with Bill Burr, Joe Rogan, I you know, know. Ali Wong, Whitney Cummings, Theo Vaughn, Maz Jabrani. I'm down there with all these stars. So awesome. Ron White. And then all of a sudden, it gets oh. pulled from us. I know. You know, yes, the financial ramifications is one thing. That's I understand that. And I took that like a man. Uh, I don't think my mind and my heart could take, you know, not going to the store anymore. Yeah. You know, not, not, yeah, I don't miss LA, but my soul misses something. Oh, so yeah. I'm in Jersey. I'm around good people. My daughter's happy. My wife is happy. 
I think by doing stand-up once a week and staying sharp in time, I'll fall in love with it again little by little. Like, I didn't do it Wednesday night, and I really missed it. I was doing it every Wednesday, and I didn't do it one Wednesday, and I really missed it. That's why I went back down there last night. Did they open any of the spots in New York? No, everything's closed in New York. They are still closed. There's, there's a couple spots that are doing illegal shows, you know. They're trying, and I understand it. But I don't want to go to them because I don't want to get hit in the head by a fucking pipe. I'm not in the mood right now to get hit in the fucking head. <laughs> so when New York gets dark, that's when all the fucking crazies come out. I know. And I'm not in the mood for hand-to-hand -hand combat. They punched that poor Rick Moranis in the head. That dude never did nothing to nobody, that poor little guy. He's like a half a wait, retard. Wait, he wait, never what did I, nothing to nobody. What happened? Rick, Rick, Rick Moran has got bit slapped up at the Upper West Side. When? My old neighborhood about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I don't Somebody even know. else. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's all crazy in New York. People come up to you and knock you in the head for no fucking reason that I oh, like. I so love it. I love it. I just, I don't need that right now. So I need that. I need to get hit in the fucking head with a crowbar no. walking down the street in New York. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Wake God, me the you. fuck up. No, oh, you don't. Oh, my God. Um, so here I am, here I am 23 years later. That's it. And wow. now I'm just a dad that does a podcast. Do you have more have kids? No, that's it. This is, your own, this is your baby. This is it. This is my baby. What this is my bodyguard. Man, what a gift. Yeah, I got a second chance, man. That's beautiful. I love I you. Have out. A girl, you have a girl. So, so why push the? You understand, my a, a guy in my position, I could have pushed the envelope. Why push the envelope? I got my wife. We've been together twenty years. I got the baby. She's seven. She's gonna be eight in January. We live in Jersey. We're secluded. We're nice. I got deer. <laughs> I got a lot of trees around my house. I got deer. I got Italian food down the corner. I got Chinese food and I got my gym. I got everything oh, I need. That's all you need. What about some Cuban food? You don't need a nice medianoche? You know what, man? It's been, I'm, I'm gonna be here three months pretty soon and I haven't had Cuban food yet. My oh. wife isn't Cuban, but Is she, she made a rock and boil. No, my wife is Irish. Oh. She'll you know make, you only... she make you some bangers and mash. Yeah, oh, no, no. She she cooks some wicked stuff for me. You know me. I like that. I'm Cuban, but I like white food. I like meatloaf. I like mashed potatoes. But now I'm in Jersey. I got my motherfucking chicken cutlets. Oh, shit. So I got to be shit. careful with those. I got my chicken cutlets. The best. That's... We make them here all day long. We always have them in the fridge. My wife makes them. But the best thing about Jersey is they sell them at ShopRite. Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> Tremendous. They sell them at ShopRite. They sell them at the Italian market. Oh, yeah. It's tremendous. So we always got chicken cutlets. Yep. I love me some chicken cutlets. We make them real skinny. And we yeah, we let them sit in the eggs and the Parmesan cheese for a little while before Ooh. we bread them. They're delicious. Ooh, with some mashed potatoes and some cream corn with jalapenos in it. My talking. I don't you, know. you, you're going to be 800 pounds by the time you finish that meal a and few a, times a and week. A nice, and, and a nice glass of club soda with a little cranberry juice in it. Forget Ooh, about I it. I like it's a, a nice juice. splash of cranberry. <laughs> and then after that, you sit down, you take your shoes off, and you smoke a fucking number of death. <laughs> and you stare at the wall for an hour and think about and your you life. The, and then you eat it all over again. And then about 2 in the morning, you wake up, and you yep. tell your wife, don't put them in the refrigerator. Put them in an aluminum foil and save them on the stove yes. like a fucking animal. I don't know how yeah. I do it. I At 2 in the morning, I sleepwalk to the fucking kitchen. And I'll just <laughs> devour two fucking chicken cutlets oh, yeah. with a glass of water. With right from the, We got the water with the refrigerator with the ice cubes. <laughs> nice. I drink the water and I go right back to bed. I wake up in the morning on a piece of chicken and my sleep apnea machine mask. <laughs> it's hysterical. <laughs> wear the thing oh yeah you gotta you gotta wear the whole thing right not the whole thing i'm just like i'm looking like a martian at night i oh got like God, the little mask he couldn't wear it yeah. 
No, a lot of people can't wear it. I wear it because I know it's going to save my life. Yeah, it's true. You know, you need to get but, that oxygen, man, when you're sleeping. Get all that oxygen yeah. in there. No, I fall asleep on the couch watching TV. Now, I dropped 118 pounds since then. Did you really? So, yeah, I was 418. What? Yeah, I was my 400 uncle, when I shot. My... Yeah, now I'm down to like 3, 301, 298. Oh, you, are you tall? 295. Nah, 5'11", 5'10". That's pretty tall. That's not tall. Oh. I'm a, I'm a stumpy Italian man. Listen, That's all I look like. My fucking ex is 5'6", so you're tall. Yeah. I mean, I could, but, you know. <laughs> but your ex, your ex is the man, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, he made some beautiful babies. That's for sure. Good. I'm happy that he does that. He can make good music, too. Yes. Yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. He makes good music. He does. Do you, he does. I, are you da you're dating now, correct? Yeah, I have a... Um, you know, I just go through different um, different uh, instruments in the band, basically. I've just been working my way through the different parts. Like, now I'm in the percussion department, so I'm dating okay. a drummer right now. My last boyfriend was the bass player. <laughs> Right, I thought. Don't I thought worry. You were dating the, They're not the all in one player. band. Okay, I thought you were dating the bass player from uh, Coverdale's band, right? White. I Snake. was. I was not anymore. I, now I'm dear friends with the old bass player from White Snake. Who? Rudy. Rudy. Oh, Sarza. I know Rudy. I've met Rudy a million times with my ex. He's a doll. Yes, Rudy's yeah. a doll. And his brother too. There's two. Of, there's two Sarzos. Yes. Right. But Rudy's a doll. Yeah, he's very they're you all should, sweet. You should go on his podcast when you get a minute. I think my ex just went on his podcast. I saw a thing. Um, but yeah, no, I'm dating. Uh, I got a real young boyfriend now. Who's uh, now? I'm you know I've never dated a drummer, so you know it's a drummer this time. Okay, hey, whatever, whatever makes you happy, man. I just want you to be happy. And, I'll be done uh, with musicians after the stint. I'll be done with that. Maybe a nice, a nice carpenter next. Nice. Yeah, yeah nice you, carpenter. You know, Someone who could build me a house. Something. You need something. <laughs> an ark or something. An ark. I'm gonna go, I'm Someone gonna go build my, me an ark. I'm going to go put my daughter to sleep. I love you, Dre. I right, love man, you for taking care. the time to do that. I love and that stay you're going to put your baby to sleep. That's nice. I got, I gotta go wish her a good night because tomorrow no, is school. Yeah. At eight thirty, she gets on the bus, so I'll get up in the morning and see her. But I appreciate you. I'm a fan, and now we're friends. Yes. So you have my number. If you're in New York and you need anything, please Thank reach out. And uh, read to your daughter Skippy John Jones with your best Cuban accent. I do it with a okay. Mexican accent. But read that book to her. It the kids love it. Skippy John Jones. Let me write it down. I'll write it's, it down it so I can Seriously is the best. Skinny John Jones? Skippy John Jones, yeah. Skippy. Skippy John Jones. Yeah. It's about a cat who thinks he's a chihuahua. It's freaking amazing. You know what? I got a cat that thinks he's Puerto Rican, so Oh, well this is perfect. Understand. You'll like it. <laughs> I love you, Drea. Thank you for love coming you on. Love you too, Joey. Uncle Thanks Joey's for having joint. me. Stay in touch. Thank you. All right. Mwah. Bye. Mwah.